The game was only four minutes old at Dalymount Park on Friday night before the league leaders hit the front. Sean Hoare sent in a delightful cross to the back post where Michael Duffy was on hand to head down to Patrick Huben, who scored close in. And any defensive plans by Bohemians were immediately out the window. The Dock were utterly dominant in the opening quarter on a fine night for football at the North Dublin venue and they went close to a second when Hoare this time got to the edge of the Bohemia's penalty area. His rising left foot shot fairly screamed though over Shane Supple's crossbar. <laughs> Bohemians finally got a chance of their own after that early Dundalk dominance. The ball bounced around in the... Dundalk penalty area before Dinny Corcoran just couldn't force the ball past the Dundalk goalkeeper Gary Rogers who spread himself well but the dog continued to probe at the other end and very nearly made it 2-0 on 27 minutes as Hoare operating at right back on Friday night showed some neat skills before crossing for Duffy but Supple did his job in the home goal Hoare was certainly enjoying himself in the fine conditions on Friday night and he caused the Bowes defence all sorts of problems all night. Another shot from distance this time and it whistled past the post. And if he wasn't shooting, he was creating. Hoare this time picking up the ball from Chris Shields. His cross found Dane Massey in the penalty area. He chested it down before crossing and Brian Gartland headed wide with Duffy in acres of space behind him. Well, this is the moment that Bohemians perhaps felt hard done by, utterly dominated by Dundalk. They almost equalised when Hoare looked to have tripped Dan Casey in the penalty area. The ball ran for Dinny Corcoran. His effort then was cleared off the line by Chris Shields. The penalty claims looked legitimate and Corcoran was oh so unlucky with the back flick. Shields clearing off the line. The dock went in search of the insurance goal in the second half. Jamie McGrath set up Ryan Connolly who crossed. Huben had gone down in the area but he got back to his feet and as the Bohemian's defence struggled to clear, Duffy put his shot over as Supple advanced from his goal. The ball in from Connolly and the claims for a penalty waved away. What remained at 1-0, there was still some hope for Bohemians and Owen Stokes, who had a fine game on Friday night, saw his shot saved by Gary Rogers. Dane Massey with the clearance. Dundalk, though, probed all night and earned themselves a corner when Connolly's cross was deflected. And from that corner, Dundalk thought they had made it 2-0 as Brian Gartland headed the ball down, but up and over Supple's crossbar. Gartland scores a lot from set pieces for the Lily Whites. Duffy then went close with a free kick with Supple scrambling. Indeed, the away supporters thought he'd scored. Bowes had a great chance to pull the game back level as Dylan Watts got free from Gartland. The ball was played forward to Stokes, but having set himself up on the right foot, his shot was more than disappointing from Stokes. The excellent Sean Hoare then set up another opportunity for Michael Duffy, picking the ball up on the right-hand side, out by the sideline. He drove his way into the penalty area before crossing but Keith Buckley did enough to prevent Duffy from making it 2-0. Duffy was causing the home side all sorts of problems and the former Celtic man should have wrapped it up for Dundalk when he was too strong for Buckley. But his shot hit Supple and went behind for a corner. But it was from that resultant corner that Dundalk breached the home defence for the second time. Gartland cannoned the shot off Supple. Massey returned it to Hoare and his header beat the defenders on the line. A goal to go with an excellent display by Hoare. Dundalk two up on 83 minutes. Late on, Bowes should have got a consolation but Casey saw his header come back off the post and Dundalk were able to clear their lines through Gartland. So unlucky for Casey. 
And to their credit, Bose kept at it, but they got no reward for their efforts. Bose really worked hard to get the ball back on this occasion, and Watts saw his shot pawed away by Rogers as Dundalk ran out. 2-0 winners.